Hey guys, welcome back to story time. Today is all about the ocean. So we have a few songs, a Nemo book, and we will be making some coffee filter sun catchers for our craft, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, we are going to start off with a song called Old MacDonald Had an Ocean. Have y'all ever heard this one? If you have, sing along. All right. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in his ocean, he had a shark, E-I-E-I-O. With a chomp chomp here and a chomp chomp there. Here a chomp, there a chomp, everywhere a chomp chomp. Old MacDonald had a shark, E-I-E-I-O. Ooh, that one was fun. What animal should we do next? How about a crab? Okay, here we go. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in his ocean, he had a crab, E-I-E-I-O. With a pinch, pinch here and a pinch, pinch there. Here a pinch, there a pinch, everywhere a pinch, pinch. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. All right, so one more. What should we do? How about an octopus? All right, we're gonna wiggle for this one. Can you all wiggle with me? Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. And in his ocean, he had an octopus, E-I-E-I-O. With a wiggle, wiggle here and a wiggle, wiggle there. Here a wiggle, there a wiggle, everywhere a wiggle, wiggle. Old MacDonald had an ocean, E-I-E-I-O. That one was fun. I think the octopus was my favorite. How about you all? All right, so we are going to get right into our story today, and it is Fish School. Nemo loved everything about school. He loved swimming there every day with his dad. He loved his classmates. He loved his teachers, and he loved to learn. And he really loved field trips. Even though on his very first trip, he was fishnapped by a scuba diving dentist and brought to an office aquarium in Sydney. But that's another story. Every morning, Nemo's dad, Marlon, would take him to school. Along the way, Nemo always liked to ask his dad lots of questions. What is a well tongues like, Dad? Nemo asked. Well, it's kind of big, and Marlin began. How many clownfish can a shark eat in one gulp? Nemo wondered. Well, I guess it depends on the size of the... Marlin started. Actually, why are we called clownfish? Nemo asked. You're not funny at all. Nemo saw his best friends, Tad, Pearl, and Sheldon. They left to play tag and algae in the middle before school started. Mr. Ray was on schoolyard duty that morning. He was everyone's favorite teacher. Nemo and his friends had a special song they made up just for him. He's our favorite teacher, hip hip hooray. For the big spotted manta, we love Mr. Ray. Then it was time for school to begin. The first class of the day was music, taught by Senor Seaweed. Nemo and his classmates were getting ready for the spring concert. Nemo played the conch, conch shell. Sheldon played the clams. The clams didn't like it very much. Tad strummed along on some kelp, and Pearl played sand dollar tambourines. Mr. Ray taught science. Today's lesson was your ocean home. Mr. Ray called on Nemo. Where do you live? He asked. An enemy. I mean, an enemy. I mean, said Nemo. Nemo lives in an anemone, said Mr. Ray. While the rest of us would be hurt by its stings, Nemo brushes himself against the anemone every day, so the stings don't bother him. The rest of the class looked at Nemo in awe. That's right, Nemo said proudly. Then it 
was lunchtime. There were there were a lot of lunchroom rules. No inking in the lunch area. No throwing worms. No eating your classmates, no matter how tasty they look. Nemo took out his lunch. I'll trade you my kelp sandwich for your algae pizza, he said to Tad. Yum, Tad said. After lunch was recess. Yay! Everyone had fun playing hide and seek, but then Sandy Plankton got into a bit of trouble. It's like my dad always says, said Nemo. It's all fun and games until someone gets stuck in a giant clam. Don't you just hate it when you get stuck in a giant clam? Once Sandy was free, it was time for Nemo's next class. It turned out there was a guest teacher that day. Dory! Hi, Elmo! She cried, waving to Nemo. Dory was teaching the class how to speak well. Repeat after me, she instructed. Eeyore, ball, a cough, a plonk, plonk, from my cup of you. What did you say? The class asked eagerly. I just said hello. Can you all speak well? Can you do what I just did? Then it was show and tell time. Pearl brought in a cool piece of coral she had found, and Sheldon, the seahorse, had some big news. His dad was having babies. Who wants to go next? asked Mr. Hermit. Nemo raised his fin. Today I have some very special visitors for you all to meet. Come right in, guys. Anchor, Bruce, and Chum swim in. Pleased to meet ya, said Chum. Don't worry, kids. We don't eat fish anymore. Well, we try not to anyway. After a brief question and answer period, the sharks left. Everyone breathed a huge sigh of relief. All too soon, it was time to go home. The students filed into the schoolyard to wait for their parents to pick them up. Nemo couldn't wait to see his dad and tell him about all the fun things that had happened. They sang the rest of the Mr. Ray song as they waited. He's our science teacher, we think he is swell. Sometimes we act goofy, but he never does yell. Aw, oh, shucks, said Mr. Ray, looking pleased. Soon Nemo's dad arrived. How was your day today, son? He asked Nemo as they swam home. Oh, Dad, it was awesome, Nemo cried. Sandy got stuck in a clam, Dory taught a whale, and I brought in the sharks for show and tell. He paused to take a breath. I can't wait till tomorrow. Marlin shook his head sadly. I'm sorry, Nemo. I can't let you go to school tomorrow because... Tomorrow's Saturday, and there's no school on Saturdays. The end. Did you all like that story? That one was fun, wasn't it? Let me get a drink real quick. All right. So, we've got one more song, and then we will move on to our craft. Are you all ready? This one is to the tune of the wheels on the bus, but it's the sharks in the sea. All right, so the sharks in the sea go chomp, 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 chomp. The sharks in the sea go chomp, chomp, chomp all day long. How about the clams in the sea? Do you know what they do? The clams in the sea go open and shut, open and shut. Open and shut, the clams in the sea go open and shut all day long. All right, we'll do one more. Let's do the fish in the sea. Can we do that? All right, the fish in the sea go swim, 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 swim. The fish in the sea go swim, swim, swim all day long. All right, good job, guys.
so now we are moving on to our craft. We are going to make sun catcher, coffee filter sun catchers, okay? So we need a coffee filter. We need some washable watercolor paint so we don't stain our clothes or anything else. And in your grab and go bag, you will have a cutout of a dolphin, a shark, a fish, or you can have a blank sheet of paper to cut out your own animal. Okay guys, so I have painted my coffee filter using our watercolor paints. And you really want to put the color on there dark because it will get lighter as it dries. So while that's drying, we are gonna go ahead and do our letter of the week. Now our letter this week is the letter C. Okay. So I have colored my C orange, and now I've cut out my ears and my eyes and my nose, and we are going to be making a cat this week for the letter C. Okay, so I'm gonna take some glue and glue my ears up top here. I'm gonna take my eyes and glue those on. And my nose. Oops. Okay, and now that I have all of that glued down, I'm going to take a marker pen. and I'm just going to draw some whiskers on here just coming right from my nose and there is our letter the letter C for cat. Alright. So I think my coffee filter is dry. You want to make sure it's completely dry. And then I'm going to take my dolphin cutout. And put some glue on the back. Right. I'm going to glue that down right in the middle. So it looks like my dolphin is jumping up out of the water. Okay, now after you have got that glued on, you can take a piece of tape and stick it right at the top here and one at the bottom and tape it to a window or a glass door so the sun will shine through it and it will light it up. Alright guys, so that is it for this week. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you next week.